Hello and welcome to G Max Studios. My name is Gorky M, and today we are going to be talking about how to shoot video on your camera. The best settings for this, including slow motion. Video is nothing but an optical illusion when a series of images is played back to you quickly due to persistence of vision it seems that the object is moving seamlessly and this is video the basic minimum frame rate required to create an illusion of seamless movement is 24 frames a second 24 fps or 24 images in 1 second So 24 fps is the standard frame rate at which modern motion pictures are shot. Any slower than this and the image will not appear to move seamlessly. So if you are after that film look, the 24 fps setting on your camera is the one that you should use to shoot your videos. But is 24 fps the best frame rate to shoot at? Well, for me living in India or for anybody living in India, Europe, rest of the world except the Americas, Japan and a few other countries, the best frame rate in my opinion is 25 fps. Why 25 fps? Well, for one 25 fps is very close to the film rate of 24 fps so much so that it is practically impossible to make out the difference secondly if you are shooting at 25 fps in these countries you can shoot outdoor and indoor without fear because if you are shooting indoor under domestic lights at any other frame rate like let's say 30 fps you might encounter banding because the electricity in these countries is supplied at 50 hertz thirdly the professional television broadcasting system followed in these countries is pal which is based on the 25 fps frame rate with lines between television and digital blurring why would you want to rule out the possibility of your content or footage getting picked up by any major broadcaster well if you live in the americas japan or any other country that follows the ntsc system the standard frame rate for you would be 30 fps of course if you're shooting for digital outdoor you can choose between any frame rate whether it is 25 24 or 30 so what is the best shutter speed to shoot your videos at well our eyes are accustomed to a certain amount of motion blur in real life and in order to replicate that your shutter speed needs to be twice that of your frame rate So for example if you are shooting at 24 fps your shutter speed will be 1 by 50th of a second since the camera does not have an option of 1 by 48 similarly if you are shooting at 25 fps your shutter speed will still be 1 by 50th of a second if you are shooting at 30 fps your shutter speed will be 1 by 60th If your shutter speed is more or less than double the frame rate the motion blur does not seem quite natural Now let's talk about the aperture The cinematic look of video has largely been associated with a shallow depth of field and in order to achieve this you need a lens with a large aperture like the 50mm 1.8 if you don't have such a lens then you need to open the aperture on your existing lens as much as you can 
Now opening the aperture comes with its own set of problems, especially if you're shooting in daylight. First, the shutter speed increases, giving the video an unnatural look. In this case, you have no option but to use an ND filter on the lens to bring down your shutter speed. Secondly, opening the aperture creates a very shallow depth of field which makes it very difficult to focus on moving objects. In this case, it might be wise or prudent to stop down your aperture to 2.8, 4 or 5.6. Talking about ISO, the ISO should be kept as low as possible as we have discussed in many of our videos. So the big question is how do you focus when you are shooting video? Well the short and the long answer to this is that you manually focus. Because the autofocus system on most of the cameras except for some top end ones is not really good. And even if it is good, it is not really predictable. It is the last thing that you want while shooting a video is that your camera starts hunting for focus or focuses on the wrong subject. So if you want absolute creative control in terms of focus and timing, manual focus is the only way to go. Because this is the way it is done in even the biggest of films and television shows. In fact, the top end cine cameras like Reds and Aries do not have autofocus at all. Now let's talk about slow motion, slow mo or high frame rate. Some cameras give you the option of shooting at 50 fps, 60 fps, 100 fps or even more. And some people believe that shooting at these high frame rates gives the footage a smoother look. But I kind of disagree. Even Peter Jackson shot Hobbit at 48 fps instead of 24 and the audience quite did not like it. Probably for the same reason that I do not like it because it makes the footage look kind of unreal. But if we take the same footage, say shot at 50 fps, lay it down in an editing software and play it back at the standard frame rate of 25 fps, it gives a beautiful slow motion. The higher the frame rate, the slower the slow motion will be. Remember that shooting high frame rate, your shutter speed still needs to be double that of the rate at which you are shooting. In some cameras, you might have to switch between NTSC and PAL to access the other frame rates. Some cameras give you the option of shooting at 50i, 25p, all i or IPB. These are nothing but methods to control the quality and the file size of your video. So remember that P is better than i even though the file size might be larger and similarly all I is better than IPB. There is still a lot more to talk about as far as shooting video is concerned like HD, Full HD, UHD, 4K, bit rates and aspect ratios but we will leave that for another time. If you have made it this far, please do subscribe to our channel GMAX Studios and until the next video, bye-bye.